your blog could write itself and still sound like you. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I did just that. So I trained a custom blog writing GPT to sound just like me, understand SEO best practices, and actually have a workflow that works with me, not against me. So that basically all I have to do is have a keyword, have an idea of like what I want to talk about, and then just press go. And today I'm revealing all the secrets. So let's hop into chat GPT to do this. But just so you know, you are going to need a paid GPT account to be able to access any of this. When you're done, you're going to have a GPT that is going to be able to work like this. So it's going to ask you step by step for information that it needs to create the content. Pro tip, I use a voice to text to be able to do this. So you just have like the little like dictate button here and then you could just blab and it'll like dictate it for you, turn it or transcribe it for you and then actually process it. It's an easy way to speed this up but you'll see it goes step by step to create content that actually makes sense for me, is in my tone of voice, works for my audience, and is going to be able to convert, and then only has minimal edits. I will say the one fault of all AI is that they love a really long paragraph, so you gotta hit enter. Okay, but how do we build this? Well, here you can see we're in the back end of the custom GPT. If you don't know how to get here, don't worry, I have another video, I'm gonna put it on screen right now, and it'll be like in like the corner, wherever the corner is, for you to click and go watch. That's gonna take you through how to get here and the basics of how this area works. So how do we actually build a custom GPT blog writer? Well, I'm not gonna give you my prompt today. I'm gonna be honest, they're very upfront. That's because number one, you gotta customize it to you. Number two, it is something that I sell. Number three, it's also a service that I do. So if you wanna get my exact instructions, join the GPT sales system. If you want me to just build it for you, Go to shinosseo.co slash services. We offer custom GPT services where we will actually build this base GPT. It's going to be customized again to you um, for your business. But today I'm kind of infringing on my own IP and I am sharing some secrets with you guys that are very important. Because here's the thing. Anyone can build a custom GPT. Honestly, I used to call them like coding a custom GPT to make it sound fancy. It's not hard <laughs> Like you're just talking to it, Okay. So let's go through how you're gonna do this. Because most people will start with the instructions. That's wrong. That's wrong when you are building something that is intrinsic to your brand. When it's doing something as complex as writing a blog post, you're gonna get a really shitty output if all that you're doing is focusing on the instructions. So we're actually gonna focus on the knowledge base and the key things that you need to have for this to work. Number one, it needs to understand your brand. Now, I use an old, like, it's, to be honest, it's like a one-page Google Doc initially that was called the She Knows SEO Style Guide. I've since expanded that individual Google Doc. I'm not organized, so it's still called that. But this document is my entire brand guide. So it has my style guide. It has my audience avatar. It knows all of, like, my brand pillars and the values of my brand. It knows all of my expertise and experience. An easy way to add that is just upload your about page if you have a good about page. Um, then it also understands like what my goal is with this content. It knows every affiliate that I represent. Easy way to do that, have them all in a spreadsheet. That's what I've always done. Um, then it also has all of my products that I sell and all my freebies. So it is literally like a master guide to She Knows SEO. It knows how to do this. And I have something free for you guys on that coming soon, so stay tuned. But basically, I built out this like little guidebook I would give any beginner intern and I give it to the GPT. Next, I make sure that it understands what it's doing. So like if it's writing a blog post, how do you write a good blog post? Most GPTs have like base knowledge from chat GPT that is incorrect because the stuff that they scrape is often generic bullshit. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. What we want instead is to train it on how we do it. So I have a couple different documents here. I have my SEO blog post writing theory, which is more about the physical structure of a blog post. Then I have my SEO audit checklist, which is like an old freebie that I had, but I've actually adapted it. So this is like a custom thing for me, but essentially it's just like a bunch of SEO lessons from my past lessons, from my courses, from different things distilled into a really extensive checklist. I do not offer this to anyone. Um, it's just for me because it's not very clean. I have a much cleaner version of it inside of the GPT sales system. And the one that we give to clients, again, is much cleaner. <laughs> Then I also distilled the search quality evaluator guidelines, and this is why clients get like a cleaner version because these two should go together. But rather than just taking the like 200 and something page document, 
I actually went through it, distilled it manually because I was like not trusting chat to do it. Um, I got trust issues and created an entire guide for it on how to basically do best SEO practices and then how to verify that it did them. <laughs> then we want to make sure that we have examples. Now it knows who we are, who we're targeting, what our goal is. It knows what it's doing, but it also needs to understand like exactly what that looks like. Because I could say, run a meta description that's 160 characters. It's usually two sentences. It's descriptive and uses the keyword. But it could do some clickbait bullshit. It could write something that like makes no sense or says like, read more, click here. Sure, I could keep giving it that information to like get more and more specific. Or I could just give it some examples of what a good output looks like. That is the easiest way to train. It's just basically rewarding good behavior and showing it good behavior. Also, pro tip. Put some bad examples here. So when you're first starting, when it's giving you those outputs, you're like, I hate these. Put them in this document to say, hey, don't do this, <laughs> because that makes it really easy. Or make another document that's bad examples. That is the easiest way to be like, stop doing this thing I hate. <laughs> that is so simple. And lastly, because this is a blog writing GPT, I wanted this to be able to understand every post on my site so it can do some internal linking for me. So I uploaded my site now. Now, your sitemap is going to look something like this. It's hugely ugly, really ridiculous. You can find it, but if you just search like on Google, ChatGPT, whatever, like sitemap finder, most people's is going to be like post hyphen sitemap.xml. Um, usually you'll get taken to like this general page first and then you click into post. But you're just going to like, I just do command P and then save it as a PDF. And then I upload that to ChatGPT. <laughs> Super simple. If you already have like a spreadsheet of your blog post though, you can also upload that, but it has to have the link. Otherwise it can't internal link. So now what we have is a GPT that understands who we are, what we're doing and who we're targeting. It also understands like what this thing is that it's doing, the appropriate way to do it and examples of good and bad outputs. And then a little bonus, like extra information for things that we need. That's when we get to the instructions. So I always recommend starting with the knowledge base first because we need that base knowledge before we tell someone how exactly, like step by step, they're going to do the thing. And then just figure out the steps that you want it to take. So for example, this one that we have here, I basically want to start with like, what is the primary keyword? Then I want the secondary keyword. And then I want bits and bobs as we go. To me, that's really important to do it sequentially. I prefer that to you just brain dump and then it just runs with it. Because what if you forgot something? And so often I hit enter by accident. <laughs> so I've taught it to go step by step. There are some secret ways, not so secret ways, but there's some ways to be very firm with it so that it actually goes step by step because it doesn't want to. But if you're using it for yourself, you probably don't care that much. So just go with it. But if you want those secrets, again, GPT sales system or come hire me and I will build this for you. And then you don't have to play around with it and fuss. So you're going to be able to have this every time. Also, if you've done this over and over again in the same chat, and maybe you're doing like another Stay 22 review after this, use the same chat. It's going to remember that expertise and experience you've already told it, and it'll be able to draw on that information in the other post. However, if you're using different topics, I do like start a new chat. That's it. I trained a GPT to understand my tone, my weird sense of humor, uh, my actual experience with things, and what my entire business is doing so that it knows how to write posts for me that are very fast. It's faster than most one-click AIs. It is more accurate than most one-click AIs, and it's usually less expensive than most one-click AIs because I can make an unlimited number of these. So I really recommend you try to make one for yourself. But if this sounded like way too much work or way too complicated, or you're like, Nina, I just want your SEO theory, then please come over to shinosseo.co slash services. Link will be below this and I will happily make one for you. I build blog writing GPTs, email writing GPTs, GPTs for repurposing to any social media, GPTs that will help you create courses or work inside of your courses to help your students. I have so many of those already, and I would love to help you make some as well. So head over there if you want those, or if you want to DIY it, I have my GPT sales system course, which teaches you how to build these for yourself and also how to build your own to sell inside of your offers. So both are available. I'll have them below this, maybe on screen in those cards somewhere, but you will find them somewhere around this video. 
but if you're just diving into AI and want a little bit more time to understand it, I'm gonna put a video on screen right now that teaches you how to really like learn and understand your tone with AI so that you can actually create that style guide a little bit easier. So that'll be on the screen now and I hope you have a great rest of your day.